All right, YouTube, David Harry here, and I'm inside a little box in Luma Fusion. I've now become one with the machine. <laughs> right, what it is in this video, I'm going to do an example of editing 8K footage inside Luma Fusion 3 on an iPad Pro M1. Seriously, this is off the hook. Now, what it is, I'm doing this as a little demonstration for one of my YouTube buddies who is Tone from Tones adventures but I think if you're into Luma Fusion you might want to watch this along with Tone because this is actually really cool Luma Fusion is totally off the hook oh yeah and by the way if you're into things like e-scooter and say drones and also GoPro Max stuff check out Tone's channel it's superb there'll be a link in the description probably one will pop up somewhere on the screen here as well for Tone's channel anyway so let me get into this right then Tone what it is I've got footage here which is 8k 24 frames per second from a Samsung Galaxy S21 smartphone okay now I don't know if uh, Luma Fusion actually works in 8K. I suspect it only goes up to 4K. However, it can take the 8K footage. It's amazing. And then obviously at the end, you can export that in 4K if you so wish to as well. So let me just show you some stuff here, Tone, just so we know where we're at. Right, there's two clips here, as we can see in the bin. And if we have a look on there, Luma Fusion is telling us that those clips are actually 7680 by by 4320 for both of them so basically that's 4k uhd it also is at 24 frames per second now let me just give you a quick blast at the settings here as well so as far as the project is concerned we're in 24 frames per second 16 9 as far as the aspect ratio is concerned and we're in standard rec 709 10 bit so this is even in 10 bit processing which is just completely insane and then on top of that if i go to preferences here and scroll down what we're going to see is that preview is in best quality also so this is mental mate honestly now what i'm going to do i'm just going to drop uh, one of these clips to the timeline here now what i'm going to do i will uh, i will play the clip first okay a little bit inside the little monitor what it is tone right this screen capture is going on on the computer there and then the output for the ipad is on another monitor here i'm getting dead confused mate right so what i'm going to do here tone right and um, i will just play the footage for a bit inside like you know the small monitor on the luma fusion then i will go full screen with it i'll let it play for quite some time it's a minute long but what it is it's just a locked off shot by a road with a bunch of traffic going by now I know that sounds sad because like it just sounds like I'm the kind of guy who goes filming traffic and stuff like that however what it's gonna do is show you that there's no frames being dropped because you can see the motion of the cars and stuff so let me do this I'll play a bit of it in the in the in the GUI the GUI then go full screen so here we go Okay, right, Tone, I know that shot there ain't gonna win any kind of weird awards or nothing. However, what you will have seen there is that it played perfectly and didn't drop any frames. So once again, especially to anybody else who may be watching this, that was 8K, 24 frames per second footage from a Samsung Galaxy S21 smartphone being played in real time without dropping any frames in what I suspect is a 4K timeline inside LumaFusion. I, sus I say I suspect it's 4K. I've been asking some questions on the LumaFusion forum, but I've still not got any answers just yet as to actually what it is doing when 8k is in the timeline now then tone what i'm going to do here buddy there's a second clip here as we can see now what i'm going to do i'm just going to waz that onto the timeline here hold on give us a sec 
And then, in fact, you know what? Let me just do this there quick. What I'm going to do, I'm going to drop this clip to the timeline. I will alternate and cut it across the other one. And then we'll have something that kind of is a bit of an edit. So give us a sec. Okay, then, Tone, that actually just took me some time to do because I'm trying to learn keyboard shortcuts for like my mouse and keyboard for Luma Fusion. Maybe I should have learned that before I did this video. Anyway, that just sped up dead fast for you. So as we can see now in the timeline, I've got an edit going on where there's going to be two clips that cut between each other both are 24 frames per second 8k and all the rest of it now what i'll do the same thing here again i'll start the edit i will let it play through just for a little bit inside the small window and then i will go full screen with it again Okay then, Tone, so how cool was that, buddy? So yeah, that to me is completely off the hook. So I don't need to explain any more here, I don't think. I'll try and keep this short, which is quite impossible for me, as you know. Anyways, yet yeah, so I'll dive off. And if anybody has watched this other than Tone, and even yourself, Tone, if anyone wants to leave me any kind of like suggestions in the comment section to this video as to some stuff that you may want to see done with Luma Fusion, things that I could generally do quite quickly, just single things, let me know and I'll have a crack at that. And don't forget also as well for anybody who's watched the video to go and check out Tone's channel. Also as well, there will be stuff in the description to this video to do with where you can get iPad stuff and peripherals and things like that and whatnot. Also, if you could like give us a thumbs up subscribe to my channel click on the bell notification icon and share the video because I'm trying to get to a million subscribers by the end of tomorrow I would massively appreciate it I'm David Harry thank you very much for watching this video take care and goodbye now